All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there, just like you right there, just like me here. Yes, thank you so much for supporting the channel. All you wonderful subscribers out there, you know who you are. And all the patrons, man, Patreon is awesome. Thank you uh, to Patreon and all the patrons. It's just been a great year and we continue to um, get more subscribers and patrons, which again, makes me happy, keeps the channel going, keeps my spirits up. Despite what people say about me, the show just goes on. And uh, despite that, you know, negativity out there, I am transcending the negativity. Unlike David Crosby, right? Who apparently has a problem with negativity because he went all negative on somebody who was trying to do something nice for him, apparently, and it uh, got him into some hot water over on my favorite platform, the Brown River called Twitter. See, I, you know, this is what I, I look at Twitter, right? And there's in your backyard or close by, there's this Brown River that's filled with crap. It's, you can see it in the water. It's like pollution. And people say to me, how come you're not in the Brown River with the rest of us swimming around? I mean, this is where you should be because this is where all of the good dialogue happens. This is where all the great ideas are exchanged. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, I tried the Brown River for a little while. And uh, when I got out, I was uh, filled with crap. And in fact, some of that crap got on people that I care about in addition to yours truly. So I decided to like pull the plug on the Brown River and get out and get away from it. So um, that would be my advice here to David Crosby, right? Who I think he's retired, right? He said a couple of weeks ago, he's done touring, doesn't need to tour anymore. Okay. Nobody will tour with him from his old band, by the way, that's a problem. When Graham Nash is still mad at you, Stephen Stills, obviously Neil Young, uh, he's mad. But these guys were unified when they took all of their music off of Spotify. And apparently they're all unified putting it back on Spotify. Because, <laughs> you know, that Joe Rogan character, he's talking truth and having people on that are all about, you know, breaking the narrative. Actually, they would say misinformation. Joe Rogan promoting misinformation. Um, and he's number one. People like to hear Joe Rogan talk because he just shoots from the hip, much like David Crosby, right? Um, but, you know, Joe is speaking truth to power. Uh, he called um, the current president of the United States, I think he called him toast the other day, uh, or uh, dead man walking. I think that's what he said. Huh, I think that's um, appropriate, right? I think it's pretty accurate. So anyway, let's get to the Crosby dust up with a fan here. <clears throat> Keep in mind, this person was uh, trying to do something for David Crosby. Classic rocker mouths off at fan, gets dragged for his trouble. This comes from the Daily Wire. It's so nice to have a source that I can smile and say, it's the Daily Wire. <laughs> because most of this stuff <clears throat> coming from the media industrial complex is like the Brown River over on Twitter. So Brown River, same thing. Waiting in the Brown River, looking at the Brown River. No thanks. Um, so classic rocker David Crosby kicked a virtual hornet's nest on Saturday when he complained about the quality of a portrait a fan shared over on Twitter, calling it the weirdest painting of himself that he had ever seen. <laughs> Thank you for this picture. It is weird. Uh, Crosby, formerly of the folk rock group, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, took things a step further, telling the artist not to give up his day job for a career in art. Okay, so full stop here. Um, you know what's kind of cool? That Crosby just says what he wants to say. He just shoots from the hip. As much as this is real tacky and uncalled for and looks really bad for David Crosby. I love the fact that because of his age, because you know he's sitting on a pile of money probably now, didn't he sell his catalog, right? So he's got a lot of money, <clears throat> can say and do whatever he wants to do. So 
this person over on Twitter, they're like, hey, I drew this picture for you. This is what the person said. Hi, David. Hope you're keeping well. Now that's interesting. The keeping well, isn't that like, you know, the crypt keeper or, you know, I hope you're well preserved. I hope you're in your, your lair, in your tomb and you're not decomposing. I mean, who says, hope you're keeping well. Are you in the fridge, Dave? Cause you need to be in there. Um, so there may have been a little negativity here from the artist. There may have been some kind of uh, provocation here. When you see the picture of Crosby, you might think to yourself, yeah, maybe Dave has a point here. I don't know. But it does appear that this person is serious. Um, keep in mind, art has changed a lot since, um, I don't know, since I was a kid maybe, where art was actually inspiring and tasteful and culturally literate, to quote David Lee Roth. It's the kind of stuff that apparently Eddie Van Halen wasn't into, according to, <laughs> this is again, and I have an idea, by the way, David Lee Roth should be commissioned to do a portrait of David Crosby. I mean, who better, right? Especially after this weekend, both these guys kind of had a tough weekend in the media or in certain areas of the media. Anyway, he, he, this guy says, hope you're keeping well. Did a picture of you. Thanks for the music. So um, yeah, did a picture of you. Thanks for the music. I mean, that's fairly positive, right? Um, I think most people responding to this on their first take was like, wow, this artist, right? And could, could put that in air quotes, but this artist decided to do a rendition of David Crosby and Crosby, here's the full text of his response. This is the weirdest painting of me I have ever seen. Don't quit your day job. <laughs> Don't quit your day job. What if this is his day job, Dave? <laughs> so a lot of things here, uh, which are fairly humorous. Number one, um, the artist, uh, I, I'm looking at this picture. I'm kind of feeling a little like David Crosby. Now, again, David Crosby can say and do whatever he wants at his age. Uh, he's been around the block a few times. He's lucky to be above ground. And people started in on Dave because, again, when you swim in the Brown River, you're going to get a bunch of crap. Um, how's this one, Dave? I just drew it quick with a look on your face when you realize you may have come across a bleep hole here, sharing another drawing. Okay, and the drawing is, um, yeah, it's like a stick figure, but it's a fairly accurate rendition of Davy Crosby. Um, and then there's one here that I think is appropriate, such low rent behavior to see an artist who got to where he wanted to be and who then tries to knock the self-confidence out of another artist who is kind enough to paint him, graceless and tacky. <laughs> this is an obvious one. Uh, teach your children to not be David Crosby. Hashtag don't be a David. <laughs> well, I find that offensive and so does David Lee Roth. So they go on and on. This is the Brown River. You unleash the high tide of the Brown River. It comes in, it gets all over you. It gets on your friends, gets on your family. It gets in your soul. It just, it's not good. My advice to David Lee, uh, David Lee Roth and David Crosby would be maybe to um, stay away from social media. Um, maybe don't send messages. If you're David Lee Roth, don't send them over to the Van Halen news desk. I mean, what was that all about, right? I'm still kind of perplexed. I mean, kick a guy when he's down, right? Kick a guy around when he's dead, it's like a Don Henley song we're living through here. It's like uh, dirty laundry everywhere. So my take on this is Crosby has a bit of a point, but he was um, really tacky in the way he, you know, gave his uh, opinion on this. But I expect no less from David Crosby. I mean, this is the car wreck that just never goes away. You can rubberneck all day long. And that's what people do on social media all day long. Go outside, enjoy the weather, enjoy your life. 
find a friend to hang out with, uh, leave your phone at home for a while or put it somewhere where it's not going to disturb you. Seriously, I mean, the Brown River, man, that's my new term for this. It's uh, brown, it's disgusting, and it, it never, never stops. It's 24-7. It's like New York City on steroids, right? The city that never sleeps, well, it's the river that never stops with its um, cesspool of brownness and disgustingness. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much the video, folks. David Crosby stepping in it and uh, people uh, responding. And it's interesting. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smack the bell if you want notifications on new videos. I really appreciate all the new subscribers coming on board. We're getting hundreds of new subscribers every month. Um, and uh, we're on our way to 60K maybe this year. That would be cool. And uh, who knows, by the year 2030, uh, we'll all own nothing, right? And be happy. And uh, maybe by then I might be at 100K and I'll get my little, it's like a play button or something. I think they'll send it to me. I'll put it in the back, proudly display it here. Um, but who knows? Uh, it just might not. It might not keep going this way, people. That's why I need your support both here and on Patreon. And uh, thanks again. And I will see you really soon.